Revelation 2234 From the 13th of February 1942 Fighting for Existence Fighting in the Preliminary Stages Struggle as a Human Being Every struggle for existence contributes to the higher development of the soul if the human being overcomes the resistance, that is if he develops his strength in order to remain victorious in the struggle. Fighting is the use of the strength that flows to every living being from God. The life force that every human being is entitled to is used correctly when it is needed to defeat all resistance. A life without resistance would not require any development of strength, thus it would also not require the use of vitality, and then the soul would not be able to progress either, for the latter can only be possible with God's support, that is through the influx of divine strength. In every stage of development prior to embodiment as a human being the being has to pass this battle, it has to defend itself, for it will always be oppressed in a way which results in its development of strength. And it will always defeat the weaker, and this is permitted by God's wisdom because thereby new possibilities for higher development are created again. So it is also God's will that the weaker succumbs in this battle because every creature only develops higher and never reaches the degree of maturity on earth which would make a new deformation superfluous. So the being will remain in battle with the stronger until it has passed into its last deformation as a human being. But then its battle will no longer be a purely external one, that is one human being may not destroy or defeat the other by virtue of his strength so that only the strong would be able to assert itself on earth in the end, instead, the strong must use its strength in a different way. It must support the weak. It must help the strong to overcome resistance so that it serves the weak. Then the human being will use his strength well, he will use it according to divine will by fighting the resistance but not wanting to completely defeat the weak, otherwise he will misuse the strength from God, he will then use this strength for a work which contravenes God's order and his divine love. He sins in so far as he treats something which strives upwards like him without love by wanting to deprive it of the possibility of higher development, as well as using his strength to dominate the weaker. The human being should try to master the resistance but not try to overcome externally what opposes him, for it is truly an act of greatest development of strength when he tries to lovingly acknowledge everything, even the weak as a creature of God and only fights against that which harms his spiritual higher development and thus overcomes it. Amen.